Kev Edwards with Tim Rally here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about WRC 7, which has just literally about 10 minutes ago announced that um, it's relaunching its eSports Championship. Um, this is a little bit of a surprise to me because it's doing it on WRC 7 on this uh, on the game that's been out for like over a year. Um, which is a bit of a strange decision. I was half expecting them to release WRC 8 anytime now. I actually thought they were going to do it when the opening of the like the WRC uh, new season got introduced. And um, yeah, I'm kind of baffled by it because WRC 7, uh, WRC 8 should have been released last October, uh, if because they've been going in like a yearly cycle. When they didn't release it in October, I thought, okay, happy days, they're going to do it at the start of the season. Run the eSports, so WRC 8 ran in line with the East, with the with the 2019 season. Uh, and uh, everything would be up to date, so rather than it being released in October and the season being almost over and the game's out of date in a couple of months because everyone's changed teams and stuff. Um, I thought, oh yeah, they're going to do it at the start of the season uh, and just have it in line with the esports. But with them releasing that, and they've released a, a full itinerary as well, so I don't think they're going to do a couple of rallies and then switch to WRC8 once it's released. They're just going to... It, the whole season's going to be on WRC7, um, which is a bit of a shame, I think, because I was actually looking forward to giving it a go this 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 year, uh, but I probably won't bother now because it's been out that long that the people who've been playing it from the start are going to have every stage dialed, uh, and it's just, it's just going to be a case of them just shaving an, an extra second or milliseconds off their times. Um, so yeah, I'm a, bit, a little bit disappointed with it, but I don't know what that means for WRC8. We weren't sure before the rally got released, the 2.0 got announced, I should say, whenever Codemasters was going to get the WRC license or not. Uh, once they released 2.0, it was like, okay, fair enough. Uh, they're just going their own way. But does that mean maybe Codemasters have got the license and it's going to take them a year to roll it out? Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Killaton had five games, had a contract for five games. Um, whenever that's five games or five years, I don't know. So maybe there won't be a WRC8 or they're going to release it in October when they normally release um, the month they normally release the games. But it's going to be like they've had two years to work on it, which... Again, doesn't really make much sense if they've only got like five games. Then why take all that time to release the last one? Unless they've put so much time and effort into it that they think on the back of this that they'll win the contract again and maybe get another five games out of it. Um, who knows? Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's just um, the news that's just come through now. I don't quite know how to feel about it. Um, but... I'm going to run through a stage anyway, uh, just to get a little feel for the game again. Um, it's, the actually, it's actually just start. I don't know, I might give it a go. I might give it a go, but I won't be taking it too seriously. Uh, and since... Uh, since... What am I doing here? All my buttons are back to front. Since Monte Carlo starts on Thursday, finally. Can't wait for the new season to start. Let's do a rally at Monte Carlo. Uh, let's just do a small one. Yeah, so this is well out of date now. All the cars and all the drivers in these cars. I think there's only like Teddy Henry in Hyundai. Mickelson. I don't even know if Mickelson's on this. I think he joined afterwards. Uh, and Evans. I think they're the only teams that are actually legit now okay new viewporters let's see how this goes so yeah i'm just going to play through the stage and um, get a little feel for it again Light 
slow, keep it, and left four, Titan, into right four, Titan one, into flat left. Must have made a put this on just to test the uh, Jolter wide out with it. And I, I'm really enjoying playing it again. I'm, I might actually put a little bit of time into it and see if I can get any um, any progress on these sports. I can't see it. But you never know. Tell you what, these Monte Carlo stages are really well done as well. And the ice. Takes a while to get the feel on back for it, but. Despite its criticisms, oh, Jesus, it is a good game. I think that's why I'm so sort of disappointed because I, I was looking forward to putting a bit of time into the next into the next one. The only other reason I can think of is that maybe they don't want to compete with day 2.0. Maybe they'd rather wait a little bit longer and, and release it when there's no other games out there so there's not as much competition. But I believe they did get a lot of the um, a lot of the people who were disappointed with their four switched to WRC seven. So they actually mocked up quite a lot of uh, Codemasters uh, fans. And if they have spent longer on the game, you'd like to think that they've like built it up and improved it a lot, so it has actually got the uh, potential to compete with it. I forgot how good some of these stages were. This is getting me psyched for the Monty. Like that, come on. Be interesting as well to see if a John Armstrong has another crack at it. I'm not sure if he allowed. Uh, any limitations with them working for Code Masters now? They might not want them to promote another game, but I don't know. I think that would be a bit a bit harsh if they did. At the end of the day, he deserves a, a chance of uh, defending his title. Yeah, so that's just my thoughts on it. Bit of a rust video because, like, literally the notification I was going to do a Richard Burns rally video. And then I just seen a notification pop up there, and I was like, "What?" So uh, yeah, uh, let us know your thoughts and uh, give us some comments. And if you've got any inside information on what's happening with WRC, if it's even going to be released at all, or if they've just lost the contract, um, yeah, let us know because uh, I am quite interested. 
So yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video.